Hello all. So a year ago today, I came out of the closet as asexual. This is my one year anniversary. Big deal. Um, a year ago today, I made a post on Facebook where I said, I'm sick and tired of lying to myself and I'm sick and tired of lying to other people. I'm asexual. I'm coming out of the closet. I don't care. And I posted that on Facebook. I've, I've heard rumors that Facebook only allows people to see stuff on, on your page if it's controversial or, or that to get more views. So maybe not that many people saw it. I got a few comments, not many. The very next day at work, we have this bit of Bristol board that we're allowed to decorate to beautify our desks. And I took that Bristol board, I drew a sexual pride flag on it, and I put it on my desk. I haven't gotten really any comments about it at work. No, I didn't, I didn't spill out work. I just drew the flag, put on my desk, done. Um, I haven't gotten too many questions. Got a few from a close personal friend, um, but very understanding. She just didn't know much about the term. Um, and, and that was about it um, for, for reactions to it. But a lot has happened in this one year since I came out, um, personal-wise. I was in a pride walk which was a great experience. It was the first Pride Walk our town had ever had. And there I was carrying this, the asexual pride flag, for, for the whole world to see. I know you can't see it too well in this video because it's all tangled and stuff, but I was carrying it. Um, maybe it's upside down, I don't know. I was carrying it for the whole world to see, um, and after the Pride Walk was over, someone asked me about it, and it's asexual flag, and, and they asked me what my romantic orientation was. And wow, they, they, it, wasn't a, it wasn't a question, please explain what that was, it wasn't a question, do you respond, from, do you reproduce through, through bonding, it wasn't some snarky remark, they, they asked me a real legitimate question. That was so validating. It was such a great experience. Um, I started. A, I, I've, I've definitely felt a need to support the LGBTQ com community a lot more. You know, I, I I didn't support them nearly enough when when I was in the closet. Um, so I, I started LGBTQ. <coughs> Got a bit of a cold. I started an LGBTQ page on Facebook, showing my support and trying to get people together more. Just a few members, but it's it's great experience there. I got uh, an asexual comic book. This is a great read. I've reviewed it on my channel. Um, Shades of A, signed by the uh, by the writer and artist. Really great little read. Um, I went to two asexual meetups. Had a great time. Resulted in some really epic discussions about movie and media. We saw Guardians of the Galaxy. <sighs> great flick. Um, I feel a lot better about myself when I, when I used to see a pretty girl, I used to think I, before I came out of the closet, I, I used to debate with myself about, oh, you should, you should try to talk to her and you should ask her out because you've been single for way too long. Um, and I'd be like, yeah, but she's cute, but not that cute. I don't feel like asking her out, but you should because you've been single for way too long. And I'd have these long arguments about asking out someone I literally jumped bumped into and and it oh it was so annoying um lucky I only find a girl attractive once every three or four months um now when I see a pretty girl I just think wow that's a pretty girl and I move on with my life which oh I can't tell you how good it feels not to kick myself in the back um I definitely feel a lot more brave I feel like I got a bit of a backbone um you know but, but looking into the LGBTQ community has been a real eye-opener. And, and also, um, I got a bit interested in gender, so I, I looked into the feminist community too. And that's been a real eye-opener. Um, there's this page on Facebook called Heterosexual Awareness Month. And all it is, all it is, is, is posts saying... I hope AIDS kills all gay people. Marriage between men and women is the only one that counts. Um, don't you just hate queers? And it's just all that. And people have sent complaints against this page. Lots of people complain. And Facebook refuses to remove it. 
There are pages on Facebook that get set up to point out these horrible pages on Facebook, and Facebook will remove these pages instead. There are, if you go looking for them, there are so many homophobic and sexist and misogynistic and transphobic pages on Facebook that Facebook will not remove, no matter how many people complain on them. It, it's disgusting. I, I don't know why Facebook is doing this. Um, same thing kind of goes for YouTube. Um, Lacey Green made a fantastic video um, called um, Sam Pepper Exposed, where she talked about some of the questionable videos that have gone on to YouTube. Um, and, and there's a reason why every single YouTube video, almost every single YouTube video about women's rights has its comments disabled. And that's because there are so many misogynistic comments made in response. Uh, I've experienced that with my feminist video. Um, and it's sickening. It's sickening how much hate is still in the world. And, and it's almost draining. Um, and before I came out of the closet, I was in this safe little bubble where I, where I could just ignore all this stuff. But it's not right to ignore it. you got to stand up to it. you got to fight it. And that's what I've been doing. Um, and I've also been just loving myself a lot more. And, and, and understanding myself a lot better. And I feel better about myself. I feel braver. I feel bolder. I feel smarter. Um, I now realize how complex and, and different everyone's sexuality is and how, how complex and different everyone's gender is and how, how much that deserves respect and how, how, how we'll never understand humanity. It's beyond us. I, I now realize that, that everyone is fundamentally different and, and you are completely fooling yourself if you think you can categorize people and stereotype people and put people into little boxes. You're fooling yourself. You'll never be able to, to truly categorize me. I'm, I'm unpredictable. And I, I've realized that you know being sex positive, which I am, is not a bad thing with me being ace. You know They don't contradict each other. I love the fact that I think if people think sex is awesome, they should, they should love sex. Um, I love the fact that I'm pro other orientations. Um, I love the fact that, that I try to fight up for the little guy if I can. And, and you know, I just love me a whole lot better. So today is, is a day of celebration. As I, as I point out, I think Facebook and, and YouTube have done some pretty questionable things. But I'm not going to let that get me down. Um, today I'm just going to be celebrating. And... I'm going to watch some horror movies because I love horror movies and, and today is worth celebrating. I'm a whole year older. <laughs>